so good evening sir i am vipratha so i am from group 14 and my group members are akmita jordan anita bosha myself vipratha krishna akash gidi and anjula das so our topic of our presentation is cloud infrastructure so basically uh, next slide so basically cloud infrastructure is the collection of hardware and software elements that is needed to enable the cloud computing and it basically includes computing power networking storage as well as an interface for users to access the virtualized resources and these virtual resources mirror is a physical infrastructure with components like uh, servers network switches pre and storage clusters as cloud infrastructures offer the same capability as well as the physical infrastructure but can provide the additional benefits like a lower cost of ownership better flexibility and safety next slide so here are the cloud infrastructure uh, the three cloud architectures so basically cloud infrastructure is not the exclusive domain for the third party public cloud service providers in fact for the three most widely adopted cloud architectures models use the basic components of cloud infrastructure to deliver the computing services and this cloud computing infrastructure is available for private cloud public cloud and hybrid cloud systems it is also possible to rent cloud infrastructure components for a cloud provider through cloud infrastructure as a service and this cloud infrastructure system allows for integrated hardware and software and can provide a single management platform for multiple clouds so over to you arkamita Uh, thank you, Deepi. Uh, good afternoon, sir. I am Alkomita. So now I will talk about the different types of cloud infrastructure. First, we have the private cloud, which is also known as the internal cloud or the corporate cloud. It's a cloud computing environment in which all the hardware and software resources are dedicated exclusively to and accessible only by a single customer. Private cloud com <coughs> combines many of uh, the benefits of cloud computing, including elasticity, scalability, and ease of service delivery. With the access control, with the access control security and the resource customization of on-premises infrastructure, many companies choose private cloud over public cloud. That is, cloud computing services delivered over infrastructure shared by multiple customers because the private cloud is an easier way or the only way to meet the regulatory compliance requirements. Others choose private cloud because their workload deals with Uh, confidential documents, intellectual property, personally identifiable information, medical records, financial data, or the sensitive data. Uh, next slide, please, please. Okay, now we will talk about the public cloud. A public cloud is a platform that uses the standard cloud computing model to make resources such as virtual machines, applications, or storage available to users remotely. Public cloud services may be free or offered through a variety of subscriptions. or non demand non demand pricing scheme including a pay per usage model the main benefits of cloud uh, i mean public cloud are as follows as uh, a reduced need for organizations to invest in and maintain their own uh, on premise it resources scalability to meet load, meet workload and user demand and fewer wasted resources because the customers only pay for what they use next slide please okay now we will come to the uh, hybrid cloud The hybrid cloud integrates public cloud services, private cloud services, and on-premises infrastructure, and provides orchestration, management, and application portability across all three. The result is a single, unified, and flexible distributed computing environment where an organization can run and scale its traditional or cloud-native workloads on the most appropriate computing model. A hybrid multi-cloud is a, a hybrid multi-cloud is a hybrid cloud that includes public cloud services from, uh, for, from more than one cloud service provider by enabling a company to uh, combine best of breed cloud services and functionality from multiple cloud computing vendors choose the optimal cloud uh, environment for each workload and move workloads freely between public and private cloud as circumstances change next slide please <coughs> now there is the three cloud infrastructure delivery model The public cloud ser uh, service providers deliver the cloud infrastructure and related services in three main delivery models. That is the IaaS, EaaS, and SaaS. SaaS. That is the infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. The three delivery models vary in terms of which parts of technologies that are outsourced and which aspects.
the customer will provide. Now I will request my team to continue. Good afternoon, sir. I am Anjita. So here we can see infrastructure as a service (IaaS). Infrastructure as a service is mean that delivering computer infrastructure as on-demand service. It is a one of the three fundamental cloud service model service storage network operating system. It allows dynamic scaling on all resources are distributed as a service. It generally include uh, uh, includes multi user on a single piece of hardware. Its advantage is um. The, the resources can be deployed by the provider uh, to a uh, customer's environment at any given time. Next slide. Coming to the next slide, here is we can see a uh, platform as a service (PaaS). It's a cloud delivery model for application composed of service. <laughs> A service managed by a uh, by a third party, and it also provides elas uh, elastic scaling of your application, which allows developer to build application and service over the internet. And the deployment models include include public, private, and hybrid. It also has advantages that our programmers uh, need to uh, need to not worry about what specific database or language the application has been programmed in. And second one is it offers developers to build application without overhead. Uh, the overhead the under underlying. Next slide. And the um, and here we can see that software as a service. Uh, S A A S. It also allows user to run existing online application and it's uh it is a model software that is deployed as a hosting service and is accessed over output. Refresh or rewrite the text internet of the software delivered model during which software and associated data are hosted. Uh, certainly, and uh, second one is um, SAA service are used for the development and deployment of modern application. It uh, has also advantage that sir, it's uh, it is a cloud computing service category category providing a wide range of hosted capability and services. And the second part is it uh, provide lower cost of ownership than on a previous software. Now I will request to continue my member. Thank you, Anita. Now let's talk about uh, the AWS, that is Amazon Web Services. So it is the uh, world's most comprehensive and broadly adopted cloud platform, uh, offering over 200 fully featured services from data centers globally. So uh, millions of customers, including the fastest fastest growing startups largest enterprises and leading government agencies are using AWS to lower costs, become more agile and innovate faster. So AWS is a mixture of infrastructure as a service, I as a uh, mixture of infrastructure as a service, IAAS, platform as a service, PAAS, and packaged software as a service, SAAS operates. So AWS as infrastructure uh, as a service, IAAS. So infrastructure as a service is a model that defines how vendors deliver cloud-based virtualized resources over the internet. AWS was the first major IaaS provider in 2008 and is today the leading provider of public cloud computing. It provides a complete computing stack that enables organizations to deploy almost any combination of software and hardware infrastructure. There are more providers like Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Platform, IBM Cloud, Alibaba Cloud, Dell Technologies or VMware, Hewlett New Packard Enterprise, Oracle Cloud, ETNP Business, etc. AWS IES services are mainly Amazon S3, AWS EC2, AWS EPS, AWS EFS, AWS Lambda, and AWS FSX. AWS as a platform as a service, PAAS. Platforms as a service, removes the need for organizations to manage the underlying infrastructure, usually uh, hardware and operating systems, and allows us to focus on the deployment and management of our applications. AWS Lambda is the most robust service that positions as a strong PAAS, enabling developers to utilize all the AWS platform services. So how AWS Lambda works? Developers can start using Lambda services by uploading the code or coding directly in the Lambda's code editor and mention the condition
evolution figures of the program. So the code executed for the lambda runtime environment is called a lambda function. So with lambda, any event can prompt your prompt our function without developers having to handle the server or getting the right type of application or resource. AWS uh, serves uh, also serves as a service uh, SAAX. That is, uh, cloud strategy is one of the best driving forces of digital transformation. So, as a part of cloud strategy adoption, businesses are very keen on deploying SAAS models to alter the mode of delivering enterprise solutions faster and more effectively uh, over cloud, even though uh, some architectural challenges exist. So, how uh, AWS serves as a SAAS? As a SAAS service provider, AWS provides its clients. Uh, with complete solutions that are run and managed by AWS. Businesses don't have to worry about issues like how to maintain a service or essential infrastructure and instead can focus on innovation and business logics. AWS Elasticsearch is used to handle load balancing during downtime or at the times of operational power hits. Even Amazon EC2 provides easy to develop tools and applications to configure apps and provide a strong set of APIs to easily integrate with all AWS services. Next is uh, cloud infrastructure with Sumo Logic. So Sumo Logic basically offers an integrated platform that enables IT organizations to track long data, log data from all sources in a hybrid cloud environment, helping organizations to reduce application downtime and leverage enhanced threat detection and incident response. So with Sumo Logic, organizations can take advantage of the cost effectiveness of cloud infrastructure while maintaining the security of cloud-based applications and data assets. So here is the image uh, for the Sumo Logic. So the rest of the part will be continued by Krishna Karsh. Thank you, Anumita. Cloud infrastructure components. When an organization purchases cloud computing services under the IaaS model, they are renting or leasing access to computing power, data storage, networking, and virtualization capabilities that are owned by another company. Each component of cloud infrastructure plays a role in helping this organization successfully deploy and deliver application and other services. There are four services, network, server, storage, and virtualization. Next slide. Network. Cloud resources are typically delivered to users over the internet. So there is a need for third party services provide, provider to build and maintain the networking infrastructure that makes it, this possible. This infrastructure includes physical wiring, switches, load balancers, and routers that help ensure cloud information is always available for customer when needed. Servers. A server is simply a computer or device that has been programmed to provide a service to customer or user. There are web servers, uh, that serve HTML or PHP files using the HTTP protocol. File, serves, file servers that store large volume of information, mail servers that send email over the internet and several other types. In private cloud deployments, organization may use dedicated server to store information, while public cloud provider use the multi-tenant model and may use the same server to provide services for more than one customer. Next slide. Storage. Cloud storage services allows organization to store and manage data on off-site file servers instead of building their own physical data centers. Third-party cloud storage providers like Amazon, Simple Storage Service, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Storage can manage and maintain data along with uh, remote backup. Data that is stored in the cloud can be accessed via the internet uh, or queried by the applica applications that are deployed in the cloud. Cold data can also be stored in cloud infrastructure. Virtualization. Virtualization may be the most important aspect of cloud infrastructure. This software abstracts the available data storage and computing power away from the actual hardware, enabling user to interact with their cloud infrastructure through a graphical user interface. Computing resources and data shortage, uh, short storage are often virtualized in cloud computing, making it, making it easier for users to leverage their resources with added simplicity and less waste. 
next slide now mcq on uh, cloud computing computing everyone in group everyone in our group uh, will answer one question so what to you arkumita thank you uh, krishna akash uh, so first one is that what is cloud computing so the correct answer is uh, cloud computing means providing services like storage servers database networking etc so uh, cloud computing uh, the uh, sorry uh, the data stored uh, can be easily accessed by the by an unauthorized user any anywhere any time provided the user must have an internet connection in a device next one will be discussed by omi yeah uh, so who is the father of cloud computing it is uh, jcr nitrider so in the 1960s jcr nitrider wanted to connect people and share data anytime from anywhere hence he invented cloud computing uh, next to you please so which of the following is not a type of cloud server so the correct answer is merge cloud servers in public servers the user shares the hardware storage network and in private server provide high security to the data stored through servers and internal hosting also in private cloud the user can customize their servers with advanced and in dedicated server the server completely belongs to the particular organization or a company Which of the following are the features of cloud computing? So, one of the important features is security. The data stored is secured and cannot cannot be accessed by the unauthorized unauthorized party. In case the user exhausts the storage space allocated, the user can buy extra storage for a less amount. The data stored can be accessed by any authorized user any anywhere anytime, provided the user must have. an internet connection and a device so the answer is all of the mentioned over to you anjila which of the following is a type of cloud computing service its answer is software as a service is aas because software is aas is the most widely used choice for enterprises if aas may Us, uh, of the internet to offer apps to consumer that are controlled by a third party vendor thank you sir very good presentation thank you all